this is it for this little tree okay big tree right there we are having to cut it down unfortunately so this one right there Hey guys, it's Kang and welcome back to Glimpses of Grace for today's August vlog. It's obviously February the 3rd today um, whenever I am recording this but as I reflect back on our August vlog there was not much footage but there was so much work that God did in my heart that month and he taught me so much and so I just wanted to hop on here and really share what I have learned in the month of august last year and i hope that it would be a blessing to you and encouragement to you just a little context you guys know i lost two cousins the time span of six months i met my dad it was a very hard start to my 2021 you can say and so in this vlog you'll see that we're chopping down a tree god was so gracious to me and teaching me about life and grieving um also losses in my extended families just the brevity of life and i am terrified of death if we're going to be honest i do not want to even think about sickness think about death think about any of that but reality is like i need to be okay with that because we all on this earth will end up dying whether we want to or not i'm going to be sharing out of ecclesiastes 3 just this really really spoke to me talking about a time for everything right for everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven a time to be born and a time to die a time to plant and a time to pluck up what is planted a time to kill and a time to heal a time to break down and a time to build up a time to weep and a time to laugh a time to mourn and a time to dance a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing a time to seek and a time to lose a time to keep and a time to cast away and a time to tear and a time to sow a time to keep silence and a time to speak a time to love and a time to hate a time for war and a time for peace and it's taught me seasons in our lives where it's okay to feel the way that we are and just as you look at seasons of your life even the earth have seasons where plants and trees and shrubs and animals they rest and they hibernate for the winter and they come back in the spring and so everything on this earth has a cycle has a beginning and an end i felt like during this month god really brought that to my attention in a way that i never really thought of before and not that i wasn't aware of death obviously i am but i just was so fearful of death and God really comforted me. It's just wrong, so true to me in those moments of sadness and of grief because oftentimes I tend to just not want to feel any of those negative emotions. I just don't want to face the reality of it. I want to escape and just think happy thoughts and um, think happy things and joyful things. And reality is like we live in a fallen world we live in a broken world this part of the bible has taught me that there is a time for everything i also learned that there is beauty in the pain because god has made a time for even the hardest things in your life in all of these different times and seasons that we go through in life it it can be challenging and when you're in the midst of the darkness and just like I was in the midst of grief. It's harder to cling on to hope. Um, but reading that gave me so much comfort, you guys. That even in death, even in, you know, in the valleys, there is 
beauty in every season. Why is there beauty in every season? Why is there hope in every season? Because God is in control and God is with us and he loves us. And just knowing that, that even if right now I am going through one of the hardest times in my life, like God's got this and I don't have to worry about anything but today and cling on to him for today and live for today and enjoy and embrace the chaos for today because I have hope. Right-handed. Go! Whoa! 
Wow. A little scared. Whoa. Oh, back up, Edie. <laughs> Edie, scoot this way so you're not hitting the this people way? behind. Yeah. Break it, break it. Harder. Harder. Oh. Dang, that was loud. Oh. Eat it. Don't move. Eat it. Hold on. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Eli and Uncle Carl. Happy birthday to you. Wow, isn't it pretty? Oh, oh, it's getting bigger. Uncle Kong's gonna blow his out. Is this COVID safe? <laughs> you oh probably not. God, Dang, Kong, <laughs> what in the world? I thought you're supposed to go one blow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the I thought the, 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 the You would have thought. <laughs> <laughs> Two candles down. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely not <laughs> Dude, I try to do it all at once. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, eleven, twelve. I can't count. Good try, Good baby. Yeah, when I'm going on here, don't fucking play. Like some of her ears. Find your ears. You Wait, what? Some of the reptile stuff. Oh, uh, look, you have, to use, you have to use this to open it. Okay, just kidding. Just kidding. Come on. <laughs> oh, the card. Oh, let's read the card first. Hold on, let's oh, read the card. Read the, you don't have to read let's it. Read the, let's read the card first. Let's see who it's from. Happiest birthday. Oh, happy birthday, my grandson. I love you. Bye bye. Uh, it says, I have never met anyone who only talks about fast cars. You are only five, and I've never seen anyone buckle their three-year-old oh, three brother. Everyone's having a 
a tough time with it. I have a tough time, man. Cool. Thank you. Thank you so much. We should be using your best. Probably not. Love mommy. Okay, now Oh my god! What? It's a spider. So, so, so much. Happy fifth birthday, love, Grandma and Grandpa. What do you say? Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> this is half your present. You. There's another half to your present that hasn't come. <clears throat> Starting from the end. <laughs> Gotta start from the beginning. Oh. It says, "Oh, we'll it's a book it to you while you're about a bear, bear builds a race car." Bo builds a race car, Eli, just like you. Yeah. Isn't it the same thing? We'll have to read that book to you when we pass it to you. Yeah. Eli, I'm gonna read that to you, okay? Because it's got all the cards. I'm so excited. Elijah, what is that? Here, you want to put the cake in the napkin? On, on here. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dark red toy, Elijah. Oh. It's a dark toy. What is it? It's a dark red toy. It's dark red. Oh, there's a face. <laughs> 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 